All right, so welcome to our last math lesson of the year. So we are going to finish off positive and negative numbers. I'm going to teach you guys a strategy in a few minutes that I think you're really going to like. But it's been important to understand the concept behind positive and negative numbers because what I'm going to teach you really doesn't show uh, understanding. It's kind of like cross multiplying when comparing fractions. You'll get the answer, but it doesn't really show what's happening in the problem. So that's why the three examples you see on the screen here are better when explaining number lines, thermometers, and debit card. And, you know, just one more review on yesterday. A lot of mistakes yesterday, so I have no idea if people are watching the video. They're not taking it seriously in terms of slowing it down and thinking about what's happening because – very low scores for many of you guys yesterday. There's a couple of you guys that had all positive answers for all your numbers, and that's impossible when your negatives are bigger than your positives. So that means we're just not thinking through these problems. So one last day to hopefully get back on track. All right, so one last uh, review of this type of problem. And, I, and, I, and the way I was thinking of this after the video yesterday, I really think the debit card example could be better than the IOU slip in here. This is what I mean. All right, so when somebody is uh using a debit card right when they have a six that means it's positive right so that means they put money on their card all right so they have six dollars to use now now on this side of the transaction we have minus 11 right so that means that they spent 11 dollars on something so that means that there's going to be a debit now on their account uh, on their account and this is what i was thinking of you know sometimes you'll hear a commercial where someone's going to dispute a charge and say, well, wait a minute, I didn't place that charge. And this is basically what's happening is when you dispute a charge, you are going to dispute this amount right here. You're going to try to take away your debit. All right. And once they do that, the credit card company or the debit card company is going to take away that charge, which it puts it back onto your card. All right, so you're adding your 11. All right, so that's another really good real world example of how canceling out a debit, disputing a charge is going to put that money back on, and then it would be adding a positive 11 back to 17. All right, so just one more example to think about, but on to today's lesson. All right, so today's strategy is called Keep Change Change. All right, so when it comes to different problems, this is going to be the best way for some of you guys to solve, all right? And this is what it means, okay? Whenever you're using positive and negative numbers, all right, you're going to keep the first number the same, but now you can change, change the last two parts. So I'm going to change it and change it, and now I'm going to solve. I can rewrite it, so it means 7 plus 6 equals 13. All right, so there's going to be certain problems where you're not going to want to do that. But when you're subtracting with negatives, I think it's going to really, really help some of you guys get your answer. All right, so let's look at another one here. All right, we just looked at that one. So take a look. All right, so we have negative 5 minus a negative 10. So what do we do? We keep, change the operation, change the sign of the second number. It's going to become positive now. And now we have negative 5 positive 10. We have our different signs. Okay, so that means we subtract regularly. And now we match the sign of the greater number. Our greater absolute is 10. 10 is greater than 5, which means we match our sign, which is positive, which means our sign has to be positive here. All right, so that's how we use keep change change there to help us. Take a look at this one again. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to keep change change so there was a problem like this on the assignment yesterday and a bunch of you guys got it wrong this is the opposite i lost ten dollars i'm adding ten dollars or different signs i'm subtracting my two and that it's going to be zero okay opposites we're going to cancel out all right let's look at the one we looked at yesterday to end take a look here so this one right here, notice we already have two negatives. So if I did keep, change, change, this is what I would do. Keep, change, and now I'm going to do the opposite of adding, which is subtracting, and I'm going to do the opposite of negative 10, which is 
positive 10, all right? So this might not be the best way to do keep change change, right? Because now I'm doing something that's not adding and this might be confusing to some of you guys. Still makes sense. I lost $45, now I'm losing another 10, so that means I'm going this way. But it's, it's probably easier just to do this. This is the most basic negative number lesson, right? Adding two negatives. Negative plus negative is adding the two numbers. So it's 55 negative. So even though you can do keep change change here, it's probably not the best way to use it. Let's just go back to yesterday's assignment and look at a few of these. All right. So let's just look at some of the things that we um, did here. Well, it's not showing me that because it's only recording the other ones. All right. So let's just go down a couple more. All right. What do we have? All right. I have negative 25 minus 10. Let's try keep change change. We're going to keep. We're going to change. And we're going to change. So I'm going to rewrite it. Negative plus negative 10. All right. You should be able to do this now. I have two negative numbers. I'm going to add my totals. And it's going to be negative because I owe and I owe. I lost and I lost. I have a debit and I have a debit. So 25 plus 10 is 35. And it's going to be negative. All right, let's do one more. There we go. All right. So I start with negative 25. This is a good one to do. Keep change change on. So now I'm going to change. And now I'm going to change negative becomes positive i just rewrite the number okay take a look again i have different signs different positive and negative right here's negative here's my positive so that means i subtract regularly answer is 15 now i have to match the sign of the bigger number what's the bigger absolute is it 10 or is it 25 25 is the bigger absolute so now I need to match the sign, which is negative. All right, so there we go. All right, so same thing. You're going to do your answers on Google Sheets. I'm going to make a box underneath the problem that you could retype the keep change change part. And then that way you can make sure you have it right. All right, so last math assignment of the year. Let's shoot for that goal of 20 for 20 today, all right, for all of you guys. You're definitely capable of doing that. Any questions, let me know.